I am Sangu Dele, the Managing Director of Africa Health Holdings and Chairman of Golden Palm Investments. And I am on the KSM show, King of Prime Time. This is my favorite show, and I invite all of you to watch it all the time. Honestly, honestly, folks, this is like a great privilege, honor for me to be celebrating this man here, man. 50 years in medical practice, and you joke. And then he was also my dermatologist when I was a, a, a young man. Or should I say a small boy? <laughs> young man. Young man. Yeah. Young man. Yeah. But I, don't know, I have your card, though, but I know I always miss that. The, the, what's the name? Nyem. Uh, Nyem. 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 Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. So, Dr. Menyem Dele is here with us, and we're going to have a chat. Thank Doc, you. you started. Wow. You set up your, your, your clinic about. 46 years ago, about 50 years in medicine. Yes. Wow. Years. How does it feel, man? You're being, you've been celebrated and you've been honored and... Yes. You see, life, the, the years don't matter in the spirits. I mm. feel as young as the time you came and I saw you. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Even I'm teasing my children. I said, look, you grow old before me. <laughs> <laughs> but you have so much energy. Yes, let, let, yes. Me, let me, is it, do you eat something special? Your diet is... My diet is special. Okay, what I'm a it? vegan. Oh, you're a vegan? I don't eat meat. I don't eat fish. I eat only vegetables. Animal food. How long have you been a vegan? I think for the past 25 years. Really? In 1957, at the secondary school in Tamale, I decided to be a vegetarian. And vegetarian, we don't eat meat, mm -hmm. we don't eat eggs, mm -hmm. and we don't eat fish. But there are some vegetarians who take fish, some who take egg. Mm -hmm. So 25 years ago, I decided that no, let me leave animal, uh, animal products and stick only with vegetables. To, to vegetables and, oh. and plant, plant oh. proteins. And I believe that that is what has made me. Secondly, and probably more importantly, my God, your God, I, it's my brief, I don't brief my air unless I go and present myself to God every morning. So if Do you have a special chamber that you go to or in your yeah, I go to, I go to uh, Christ the King. Oh, you go Christ every I, morning? You go to Christ the King? I came to Ghana in 1974 every morning by 6.30. You are Christ the King? Telling God, forgive me my trespasses. As I will try to forgive the trespasses to others. <laughs> And that I am nothing without you. Yes, every my, morning. Every morning. I'm there. Wow. I go to God, ask for his blessing, then I go. And I strongly believe that has made me know. Because you can't wow. believe that I have had 23 accidents. With a plane crash in 2000 at the airport. It, the chair I was going to sit on, the military people reserved a front seat for me. Mm -hmm. Then I was about to climb up. And one of the military uh, colonels called me. Oh, doc, please come. I have a skin problem. Mm -hmm. I want you to help me. And I said at this time, he said, it doesn't matter. So I took him to the toilet, looked at his groin. Oh, yeah. And then I knew the prescription. So when I went up to the plane, some huge man was sitting on my seat. And then the... the, the, the uh, I mean, my told me, please get up. This, this is my doctor coming here. You are taking a seat. <laughs> the man said no. And I said, it's okay. It's okay. I went and sat at the back. When the plane crashed, we were the first to die. That was 2000. Wow. Humility is something I've learned. If I had tried to fight with him, who knows? And eight people died at the airport. It was a major plane. It crashed. I still eight remember. People. 2000. Yeah. yeah. The chronicle came out. And I said, and I, you see where I'm saying, I raised up my rosary. And I said, this has been my savior. So I owe a lot to God. I've had clean car, uh, uh, my wife has crash 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 and about 20 car accidents. And there was a moment that, in fact, the last one I had, the driver ran away and told people that, oh, my doctor is dead. Then somebody was passing and saw the car and said, this is my doctor. It must be Dr. Rabito. They came and took me to the uh, dispensary. Fortunately, somebody knew me there. They said, this is our doctor. We can't let him die. 
they took care of me and then they it was too much for them they took me to damango they did the x-ray and said no this case is very serious, serious. Case is serious. i said no it's not your serious i took a phone and called my son bangu yeah when you tell mr president that i'm almost dying here so it was i think professor Mills. so he asked a plane to come and pick me up from Wa, and i came and i've survived it wow i had wow. other plane other car crashes up crash over so the bbc said this is the man who did that committee and i don't say that <laughs> every time wow. god wants me i will go so i have always believed that if you want to live a life worth it look at the one who, who gave you the life who gave you the life mm. i didn't give myself life mm. so maybe that's and of course the secret also is exercise you know what all exercise do you do yes i my half I, i stay in the house there are steps there so you go up the stairs i walk up the stairs down 10 times and it is really few things that i do <laughs> and, and really? sometimes so what's the procedure like you get up then you do exercise yes then turn up and down the then, stairs then i take my vegetables you take your vegetables yes, then go I to pray, the pray, king, and then pray and, and then get go straight to the clinic as soon as i get to the clinic all my workers 725 sharp we are all there together we say we meditate you and god heals you so we pray to god again so we I built my clinic on prayer and all my workers there if you come uh, whether you are Muslim or you are so we all sit together yeah and pray yeah so if you want to catch me go to Christ the King the <laughs> <laughs> no no so I believe that wow. two things have kept me my food my exercise and, and your first and your, of all my and, God. and your God that's all wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah wow so what what triggered your decision to go vegan because already you're a vegetarian yes and why did you decide i'm going to move further and become well, a vegan i want to know that from the research done now there is a book saying that if you don't want to die become a, 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 a vegan because it has been found out that plant protein plant is better than, than, animal protein. than animal protein and i've been found out that if you really do a vegan diet you can live as long he even claimed up to 215 years because it has been found out that the animal proteins are those which are destroying us mm. you go chicken or fat and uh, you, really? you go this <laughs> everything <laughs> that with the vegetables you get up you put yourself and as soon as you take vegetables even if you like your fufu try taking vegetables and take fufu you can't take much of it the vegetables easily make you mm. so you cannot so that is one thing about it and you, you the vegetables are easily available mm. you see and your fruits you take your mango your your apple that's why they say if you take one apple a day you don't need a doctor <laughs> don't take it otherwise i have no work to do <laughs> so i think the idea of health has been my passion besides mm. being a dermatologist mm. my passion is for health because the first the founder of, of of medicine said that if you eat well make food your medicine and medicine your food so that is the problem we have in all over the world mm. it is the food that he says to get sick we don't manage our diet and so mm. we go to the bar if you manage your diet well you get me out of job <laughs> so, you won't get to <laughs> <laughs> so, and of course as we <laughs> said to water you drink because plenty people, water people forget that 75 percent of our body mm, is made water. up of water mm. and they will ask me what is the best water just clean clear water clear water i don't take alcohol i don't smoke and of course i stick to my family life so these are the things which make us and that's what i always tell my patients even if you don't die they kill themselves Oh, wow because when you think of it after you've grown a lot mm. you see that we don't die we kill ourselves look at somebody going to take food till the stomach is full <laughs> he can't do anything <laughs> look at somebody who goes to drink till it's over then he goes to crash himself is it is it god who killed you mm, not no. yourself mm. so actually mm. if you learn a bit about health there's little things to make you healthy 
You will not need us. We will be out of job. <laughs> you see, stress. You no, know, we are all stressed. The little thing we get worry. Worry too is one of the things which really disturbs a lot of people. Worry, yeah. Worry. So you 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 try not to worry, or no, nothing worries you. Nothing. I sleep like a child. I sleep. Like, I don't carry my uh, this. I guess yes. He has insulted me, and so what? It is your reaction. So mm. if he insults you, mm. then you smile. What do you do? You destroy you. He, he you destroy everything. Yes. I remember when I was at school. <laughs> I was small and troublesome. So the seniors who call me, so you are this boy. You are very troublesome. I said, so I'm sorry. <laughs> so they will slap me, and I will laugh. But they will even slap me, and you are like, no, what did you know? <laughs> so I found in life the secret about life is that don't let what people tell you rule you. You insult me, I smile. You beat me as Jesus. There is no easy use. I will make a fool of you. And I remember an incident because being small, I had to use tactics. Mm. A, a big man, one of the big boys was trying to bully me. So I shifted into a gutter. I saw a gutter there. And of course, with his anger, he fell down in the gutter. And I said, You see, I will be touching you in your phone. <laughs> but you know, so people say in life, you must find you. Mm. So I think these things have been, and as much as possible, I try to forgive and to forget. Mm. Whatever you do. You said that way, I can forgive, but I, I won't forget because whatever happens, it will still be on my mind. You are able to totally forget it, so you I don't try, even remember again. I try not as much because when you don't forget, you are hurting yourself and not the person mm. involved. But you try. It's not easy, but if you forget it, you are the one gaining. If you forgive a person, it isn't the person who is gaining, it's you yourself. It's you. Because when, when you remember and you hold on to the you anger hold. and the pain, that is what. You are, the, you are the one, you are the one yeah, In fact, yeah. the philosopher said, it is only a fool who gets angry because the anger is going to destroy you. So as much as possible, control your anger. Mm. But let me, let, let me ask you, yes. has this been your lifestyle or is something that you, are, you have learned now that you are more mature? No, you yes, are, you have, you have, I've learned as I've matured mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I've talked to people older than myself, I've talked to people wiser than myself, and they have told me that the greatest enemy in this world mm. is not disease, is not even food, but your ego. That's a great your disease. Pride. Mm. Your pride. Who dare you call me this? And that is what is killing all of us. Whether in politics and in this, our pride, our ego, yourself. And I always tell my friends who are Christians, and my workers that you look at this a simple definition of christianity is what christ was put in the cross so what is is the eye which is cancelled that if you think of yourself and you are, you are better knowledgeable than myself that if you listen to all telephone calls i i i we all want to say i i i and that is what is destroying us we don't think of others we think of ourselves so to be a person and have your peace of mind, cancel that. How about the others? Somebody mm. hurts you. And you, maybe you don't know what is wrong with him. Mm. And you also want to hurt that person. What do you gain from it? Do you know why he's angry? So if he's angry and he's insulting you. So clearly you have, it's not just you, you, you have like a philosophical approach to life. Yes. So, yes. I, I just, for the benefit of people listening, yes. um, how, how, how do they train themselves to get into this mode that they are constantly, they won't be angry, they won't get stressed? Because people just get stressed by even just waking up, driving in the traffic, truck truck driving across here, here and there, and you're just, bah, 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 you, you know, yes. all of that doesn't bother you. You, no, you, you say through. In fact, because of that, I name my children according to my philosophy. My first child is called Igu. That means you cannot do anything to me. The second child, I said, Bangu, you won't even know me. Because people pretend to know you, but they don't know you. You come here, we think we know you, but there are things about you that we never know. Yeah. And that, what I have, don't envy me. 
Because I'm not the one who has mean, mean that is God's gift to me. And then why should I behave well in life? Because whatever I do, God sees me minion. So mm-hmm. I have my job minion. So you think people are not uh, you even think they are not seeing me, but the man they is seeing you. Then again, you are worried about people are going to spoil your name or destroy Sangu. In that guy, I said, you can't even destroy me. Mm. Because I have a character that you can't destroy me. Say anything about me, but you can't destroy so me. So all the names you give to your children so that's have been like go to character and, and, and the kind of character, character. you... Yeah. That is what has made my life. Of course, it doesn't mean that I don't also get angry. Mm. But when I'm getting angry, I say, look, Edmund, you are a fool. <laughs> you, see, only, you see, the only people who enjoy in this life yeah. are the mad people. Because they have nothing to worry about. <laughs> and sometimes it is not even necessary to treat them. So sometimes the happiest people on earth are the, those we really call the fools. Go and see people walking around. We can stay at any place and it's happy. But we rather are the people suffering. So I say that sometimes let us be careful that we think those of us in these beautiful houses, mm. we are the happiest people. But no, go to the village. Simple people, they are eating their simple food, food. they are laughing, yeah. they are doing that. And that is why some of them even live longer than we are. Yeah. So sometimes we must be careful about changing people's lives. Put your hands again and let this this has turned into a life skills lecture. Yeah. And I'm enjoying it. This has turned into a life skills lecture and I'm enjoying it. And thank God we still have a bit more time to be with a doctor. And so we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, more life skills. We'll be right back. <laughs> the KSM Show. Professor Dr. Edmund Ningye Dele. A bird whispered to me that you are celebrating 50 years as a medical doctor. And that there is a conspiracy plot to send you messages of congratulations and I willingly join in this conspiracy. Congratulations for 50 years in medical practitioner. On behalf of the Dele siblings, we would love to wish our father, uh, now Professor Edmund Miniam Dele, a happy 50th anniversary on becoming a doctor. It's almost unbelievable that it's been 50 years um, since uh, that calling arose and he is continuing day to day to give it his all and to continue to serve humanity. So daddy, on behalf of all the kids, congratulations, happy 50th. And we hope, um, we hope you'll, be, you'll be around to, to, to give it your all for another 20, 30 years. All right, God bless you, bye. Okay, folks, like I say, every time if you're looking for wine class, then the name is Man Wine. And the best part, and I always tell you, if you call them for Man Wine, just say, mm, I had it from KSM, and you get a lovely discount. The name is Man Wine. At tier 4, so who pe wine in Sata, me pacho pi, she she man family wine. I'm ranty me and sa wumu free Stellenberg, South Africa, ye in the chakwain. Red wine, I would only be any cabinet savion. Melo, and a syrah. White wine, and so, even a chardonnay, and a chanel blanc. Who pe sa wu enjoy wine, yeah, me pacho pi. White wine, no, seven eyes cold, and a red wine, and so, man in your cook a cra, wu pache de bi dia mo penny bia, man man family wine. Who your party and a year so a man ring free man family wine. Artist optional was Spintex Road in Crime Kwan and a year so distributor at Ghana at the phone for 020 811 0618 059 261 1618 and a 020 816 1601. Man family wine. Oh, be a see a year. Nominian Samu. One too many power winning fear do much and Sasa pay for no FDA, I should just say if you didn't crack so much yet to say a year. Crick is 055 039 5007.